Major setback for warlord Khalifa Haftar. Forces loyal to the internationally recognized government in Tripoli are now advancing into the city of Sirt on Libya's central coast after a string of victories in the west. Sirt is located near Libya's most important asset, its oil-producing region in the east, which is under Haftar's control. Libya, which has Africa's richest proven crude reserves and relies on oil exports for nearly all its state revenue, plunged into violence with the toppling and killing of longtime leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. The country's oil fields, pipelines and terminals have frequently been damaged in fighting. Putting Libya on the path to economic recovery means preserving Libyan oil facilities and strong access to the National Oil Corporation. Haftar is backed by the UAE, Egypt and Russia, among others. More than a year after he launched his unsuccessful campaign to take control of Tripoli from the internationally recognized government, his backers are now seeking to keep Haftar involved through diplomacy. But now, emboldened with Turkish support and gaining territory rapidly, government forces and officials say they will not negotiate with Haftar, nor accept a ceasefire. We will enter Sirte. This isn't a battle for cities like Tripoli or Sirte. It is a fight for Libya, for freedom and democracy. We will continue east until we liberate all of Libya from the war criminal Haftar. European leaders have called for a ceasefire, with a German ambassador visiting Haftar in eastern Libya on Wednesday and then Tripoli the day after. Unfortunately, the international community stood by while Haftar assaulted Tripoli and killed civilians. The feeling among Libyans is they no longer trust the international community. Countries who recognize the GNA but support Haftar, like Egypt, can't be trusted. The UN support mission in Libya has said that the GNA and Haftar's military delegations are now fully engaged in the third round of talks. But with both sides setting strict conditions, it is unlikely we will see a ceasefire in Libya anytime soon. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Misrata.